Uh, my name is Tabin. I'm a pup. Sorry, sorry. And welcome to another edition of Math with Tabin. Today I want to talk a little bit about a fun, neat thing called a Moby strip, and also a fun, neat thing called a Klein bottle. So, a Mobius strip, sometimes called a Mobius band. What is it? Well, first let me start out by saying, if you take a strip of paper, like this, if you paste and tape the two ends together, you of course get a little cylinder thingy, right? It's just a normal cylinder, you've got two sides, you've got two edges, it's, it's all nice. What if you take it, twist it 180 degrees, and then glue together? What do you get? Well, you get something called a Mobius strip, and it's a special guy. Let me show you a few reasons why he's special. So here's my Mobius strip, and let's think for a second. If I look at the cylinder, it, why does it have two sides? Well, I could take a pen and I could draw around on the inside a full complete loop, and then I'd have the other side with nothing written on it, right? So I would just be able to do it again on the outside. So you have two different loops. Let's try doing that with a Mobius strip. So here's my Mobius strip, and I'm gonna try and just draw a straight line. So I'll start right here. So I've gone over just one side. Now let's see if there's anything I haven't drawn on. Oh wait! I've drawn on every bit of the paper. Everywhere. Well, you can make something physically that only has one side. That's amazing. It only has one side, and in the same way, it only has one edge. You can trace along, start here, say, and trace along this edge, and you get all the way back, and all the edge is used up. So that's pretty exciting. Something really physically you can touch that only has one side and one edge. That's, that's amazing. And you made it out of something that started having two sides and two edges. So I wonder what would happen if I cut straight down this edge. If I did it with a cylinder, sorry, not the edge, the, the, this middle line, if I did it with this cylinder, I'd get what? I'd get two loops, two disconnected loops. If you take this Mobius strip that you drew this line on and cut down that line, you'll end up with one loop with a full twist in it. Then what if you drew a line down here and cut down its middle? What do you think you would get? Well, I'll leave that for you to try out. There's a wonderful relationship with the Moby strip and this other thing called a Klein bottle. So let me talk a little bit about what a Klein bottle is, and then I'll tell you something about the relationship between the two. Now, think if this paper were instead a hollow tube, and then if you took that tube and connected the ends together, just like you did with this piece of paper to make the cylinder, but if instead you took that tube and did that, you get a donut, right? A hollow donut. What if, instead of just gluing them together, you did the same idea with the Mobius strip, but you made a 180 degree twist with the end, but do that with the cylinder. Do the 180 degree twist with the end and glue them together. Now, if you're having trouble visualizing that, you should be, because you actually need the fourth dimension to be able to do that 180 uh, degree twist with the two. When you glue it back together, the resulting thing is called a time bottle. And it is something that, if you're gonna properly view exactly how it works, how, how it looks like, you can only do it in four dimensions. Now, we have a three-dimensional analog in that if you did that and pretended it existed in three dimensions, what would it look like? This is a Klein bottle. 
Notice it's intersecting itself. That's because that's the only way it can properly be visualized in three dimensions. What's really happening is this intersecting should not be happening. It's outside of the, the bottle. It doesn't intersect itself. How can it do that? Well, that's why we need four dimensions. We need another dimension in order for that to happen. And that's a result of that twisting of the tube. So that's pretty cool and exciting. Just like with the Mobius strip, a Klein bottle only has one side. Can it hold water? Ah, oh, let you think about that. It's kind of a fun thing to think about. The Mobius strip and Klein bottles are things we call non-orientable surfaces. It, it, you can't orient it, and, and there's mathematical definitions of that. Now, how are they related, the Mobius strip and Klein bottle? So uh, here I have two Mobius strips, and they have they both have one edge and one side. Well, think about the one edge. What if you took the one edge from this Mobius strip and the one edge from this Mobius strip and glue them together along their respective edges? Now, again, you can't visualize that because you need another dimension to do so. But if you did, you would get a Klein bottle. And that's amazing. If you like this sort of thing, it's studied in a branch of mathematics called topology. Not topography, that's the, the maps and stuff. This is topology. It's this wonderful, fun, neat branch of math that studies this type of things in all different sorts of ways and studies lots of other really cool and interesting stuff. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed what we've talked about today. There's really cool and fun stuff you can do with math. And so on that note, I'll see you next time on Math with Taven. Bark, bark. Try this again. <laughs> if you took, ooh, I keep, I'm going. Ooh, my posies don't want to, but if you just, I can do this. <laughs>